Hello gamers, and welcome to another monochrome palette run of Splatoon 3 Side Order. Today, I will be joining these two dapper fellows and becoming the ultimate dapple dually user. What I'm going to be doing is a monochrome run of the duallys going with all blue chips. That's because in a recent guide I made, I talked about how getting the extra dodge roll chip is pretty difficult considering there's like 10 different blue chips that would work for the dually, so it is pretty hard to get. Maybe it'll take you a try or two, but it is doable. This will be another one of those off-color monochrome runs, so we're gonna have to go to Marina real quick. Why? Why is it that every time I show up here, all of the hacks are turned? Oh, now I know why. But before I bother turning on all the ones below here, I will just let you guys know that the one I will not be using is color chip bias. We need to have this at zero in order to do a successful off-color monochrome run. Otherwise, we're going to be stuck getting the lucky chips and that's it. All right, and now that that is all taken care of, uh, let us head on into the tower and get this run out of the way. And as usual, we get very lucky on floor one and instantly get an option. Here we have a rush attack, which will boost damage for things like reef slider and inking while moving with a roller or brush. Uh, I don't know if this works for the duallys, but if you are not sure if this is going to benefit you, you can just scroll over to this thing, dodge roll attack, and let's see what it says. Causes dodge roll with duallys to deal damage. This damage is increased by having the rush attack color chip. So getting rush attack will benefit us as long as we can get this dodge roll attack skill. It is very fun. This is what makes the dodge duallys very useful and uh, <laughs> very reliant on us getting that one very specific chip to show up once. We got ourselves a chase on the pyramid floor. The objective is to hunt down these guys, right? You're, you're chasing them down. So I always call this the chase, but like, I'm always curious what other people call it because I maybe I'm just, I don't know, a boomer. I'm just calling things, things they're not supposed to be called. The game calls it field today, but I disagree. All right, floor two, we do not get anything we need. Thankfully, plenty of mem bucks to reroll. All right, mobile ink recovery. This is good because dodging as the duallys does count as moving. So a very fun part of this build is that you basically get five dually rolls and every time you roll, you just recover ink. So you just never run out of ink. It is basically the, the Grisco duallys on drugs. I do wonder, I should probably watch some of the people who have have done speed runs and see like what is the quickest way to actually do this because i think this is the fastest but i could be wrong okay i got it right this time all right we have a second reset we're gonna get swim speed up not ideal but you know what it's blue so we're gonna pick it up this is a fun one in my opinion it is a very long one though uh, not a favorite if you're trying to go fast supersonic fast not not me committing stupid on the like third floor already we haven't even started the video and i'm already making silly mistakes but you know what that's okay, they're not mistakes, they're happy little accidents that make the run more fun. And apparently these things aren't belugas, someone said they're like beaver-headed parrotfish or something like that? It's not beaver, I absolutely hump-headed parrotfish? I like to call them belugas though, because that's so much easier to say. Uh, okay, here we have mobile drone gauge, but like we're not gonna be using the drone, so I'm gonna reroll. Not the most ideal thing to be skipping out on blues, but I think I had enough mem bucks and I might just have played myself. Okay, there you go. Run speed. I'll, I would rather take run speed. Uh, the other thing to consider with these blue ones is that some of them have way more than five. So like rush attack, you can pick up way more than five, which makes this extra challenging because there's a lot of blue ones you can pick up. So far, no dually dodge, which is concerning because we're going to need five of them. Protect the zone and don't use your sub weapon. I had jokes on you, video game. I have a going thing where I just never use the sub weapon. Actually, I think because it is curling bomb, I tend to use it a bit more just because it gives me mobility. But if I don't have curling bomb, I just avoid using the subs. I think someone in my Discord server was talking about how you could basically set up a bomb rush with one of these weapons. I think they said bucket. I could be wrong. I'm going to have to look back, but that sounds like a fun run I could try because there is no bomb rush special in this game, but there is a bomb rush special inside order if you make it. If you can think it, you can make it as long as you have the luck. That's how this works, right? All right. Here we have a vending machine. I'm scared to go to it because then we don't have rerolls, right? I'm going to I'm gonna do... Okay. Second reroll. All right. We're going to go vending machine. I think for these monochrome runs, it, it makes it worse to use the vending. Well, speak of the devil, dodge roll attack is exactly what we need. I'm sorry for being mean to you, vending machine. You gave me exactly what I needed. So now we can be a very powerful dodge roll dually. The only problem is... We can only dodge roll once. Uh, the second problem is this video game is about to make me lose the streak for the first time ever. Yup, there you have it gamers. Streak is broken. <laughs> oh no, now what do we do? We give up. 
to the foyer. We did make it to floor five, so we can do it one more try. And if it works, it works. And if it doesn't, that's okay, because sometimes you're just gonna fail. All right, here we go, floor one. And right off the bat, we get the best thing we could get, which is dodge roll attack. Now, this basically means the duelies become the dodgies because you're gonna be doing a lot of damage by dodging and not a lot of damage by dueling. I think as long as we collect all five, I might like buff explosion radius because I think this counts as an explosion. All right, challenge number one with a bonus. Don't take damage. Oh, it's so tempting to just do this though, but I can't, like the, the range is so small. Okay, I'm gonna have to reroll here. Here we have rush attack with dodge roll attack, but if you look at it, causes a dodge roll with the dualies. This damage is increased by having the rush attack color chip. So uh, I will be gladly taking rush attack. Rush attack is a wonderful thing for us to have. Basically this combination will create the Grisco dualies. And if we get the mobile ink recovery, it also means we get infinite ink. Infinite Grisco dualies sounds pretty ridiculously fun. The only downside is if you've ever used the Grisco dualies, you would know this. The explosion don't got much range. <laughs> Okay, squid attack. This is another one of those just pick it up once kind of chips. So if it does show up, always make sure to pick it up once because it's gonna boost your odds of getting everything else. And it's on the careful aim floor, so we can just kind of speed on this one. Hello again, our sunfish friends. I'm here to scare you with just my presence. Oh, uh oh, I took too long. Took too long and that, that guy's having an anxiety attack right now. All right, nothing good here. So we're gonna have to reset. Mobile special charge. We will take that. I never know how artists pick the colors for like character skin, you know? I have been wanting to study art and in and, and part inspired by that PewDiePie video and in part because I have a lot of ideas and I want to make them. But like I need to be able to like draw to, to make set ideas. Is there no gravity in this? There's a gravity in this game. Why this ball? Maybe there's no gravity for the eight balls. They just built different. Uh, I think we have enough pros to hit up the vending machine. So we're just going to go to vending. Okay, vending machine, nothing good. Um, we will reroll once. Splash radius. So uh, that's this, this, this is what I was curious about. Is Does this count as an explosion? It counts as a rush attack, but does it count as an explosion? Does, does getting the radius buff boost it? So just for science, I am gonna buy like one of these, just one, just for science, just to see if it works. I know we're going off color. I'm curious, but I don't, it's also to show that it is okay to go off color on these. It's not that big of a deal if you miss like one floor. Uh, it just in general, you want to pick up as many blue chips as possible because it'll boost your chances of getting the blue chip you need, which is the, the extra dodge rolls, which is a very difficult one to get. I don't think it boosted the range of this, but it does nice damage. So it looks like explosion range does not actually help with the range of this. I suppose it's not an explosion. It is an explosion in Salmon Run. I suppose this is not Salmon Run, so <laughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Worth, worth it for the science. Now you are the one who doesn't have to break the street picking up this thing, hoping it'll work. Now you just know it just doesn't work. Simple that. Okay, we have mobile ink recovery. This is also really good. Uh, the not so good part is that we have not gotten a single repeat of anything yet. <laughs> And we're almost at floor 10. He's gonna have a panic attack and then he's blown off. No! <laughs> he explodes! I always knew they fall off the stage, but I've never looked at how bad it looks when they do. Alright, um, there's more of that splash radius. Too bad it's not useful for us. And the real problem is we're having to reroll so many times. And I think we're out of rerolls at this point. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, we were out of rerolls. Alright, we're gonna get extra swim speed. We're not really gonna be using swim speed much because we're gonna be dodging ideally we want to max out something as quickly as possible that is the goal max out the ones we don't care about and to boost the chance of us getting the one we do care about oh, yeah I, I forgot i could just dodge roll oh oh, oh i oh, having just one dodge roll though that's a that's a problem all right more rerolls okay wonderful this is what we need rush no i hate this i hate knockback sorry i just had to th throw my two cents in you know all right extra dodge roll we can get up to five extra dodge rolls Hopefully we will get all five this run. But as I said, this is the hardest one to get. So if you are trying to collect this, best of luck. Hope you're enjoying listening to me being silly while trying to grind it through this yourself. Also, if you need other stuff to listen to, I made a lot of like story-based Pokemon videos. Feel free to watch those. I know maybe you don't like the game itself, but I've tried my best to give more character to the game and create a bit more lore and world building. Uh, it feels weird to self-promote on a video. <laughs> All right, we have made it to the first boss, the Layered Rotator. I don't know how we're gonna handle this considering our range is so short. I'm very curious if the Dooley explosion can reach the Rotator, guys. Does it hit? Oh, it does hit. Yo, okay. 
new meta? <laughs> Stop jumping. Stop jumping. I, <laughs> it's, it's so hard to... It works. It, it does work. We can, we, can, we can duly dodge into their face and it, it will blow them up. At the same time though, it's, it's kind of awkward to pull this off. But it, I mean, it works. I didn't think it would work, but it does work. He goes so fast because he's on the outside. Oh, hit him once. You can just shoot the thing. You can just... I got tired of trying to dodge roll with him, okay? Patience ran low. All right, one third of the way there. Then a lot of chips we do not yet have, but hey, here you go. An extra dodge roll. I will instantly take this. All right, a nice and easy floor to switch back is one of my favorites in terms of speed running it. Not just speed running, you're just playing on it. It just feels like Moray Towers. It feels like home. Why is there no Moray Towers in this game? I must platoon one or Moray Towers. This is, feels like a safe space. I know it's not, but it feels like it. Okay, we have swim speed up, which will be halfway done. And then we just need the two more and that will be completely cleared out of the set. So we won't have to worry about it anymore. And we'll be able to swim extremely quickly. All right, it is the... Oh, we get saturation too. Support chip saturation. What is... What is what is the support chips do? The game won't tell me. Uh, I guess we have a lot of support gamers. I don't know what that means though, but we have it. Uh oh, the dodges can't. They can't reach. They can't reach the thing. I'm, I'm gonna have to shoot it. There's no other option. They just, it's out of range otherwise. That's what I was hoping to see if I could like increase the range of this thing, like the range of the dually dodge explosion, but. Uh, mobile ink recovery. This one's really good to have. Ping pong double hill. We love the zone stages that make us go back and forth. All the homies love them. They're totally not a nuisance. Woo, this is the best stages ever. I'm so glad they made like 500 of these. Man, I sure miss righteous rails. Maybe I should not have complained. Maybe I should just have enjoyed the righteousness of the rails and said nothing at all. I doubt that's why there's no righteous rails in this. Low sprinkle man, uh oh. Sounds like there's a sprinkle man. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can hear the helicopter flying over my house, but oh, sprinkle guys flying around. Okay, I like that. Hello, sprinkle guy. Oh, of course, the dodge explosion doesn't reach the sprinkle guy either. Rush attack. Yes, we will take this, especially since it's more coins and it's gonna boost the damage we do with that dodge roll move. I mean, I think it does plenty of damage as is. I think the real problem with the dodge roll move is that it needs more range, which I will say 500 times over. It needs more range. How do I get it more range? <laughs> Someone's gotta know, right? Gamers, how do I how do I make this explosion go bigger? Well, I thought it's an explosion, but it's not an explosion apparently. One of the dangers with the dually dodges, I could probably accidentally dodge roll myself off the stage, so I gotta be careful about that. Um, yeah, I think I think this is a vending machine corner kind of stage because we have 3,000 man bucks. Uh, so here's hoping we get some nice blue chips in here. Hello, vending machine. Please give us some nice. That's that. That is the wrong shade of blue. That is not. not neither of these are blue. Oh so, no. Okay. Still not blue. This is the last reroll. Oh no. Do I do one more or do I save? I think I save. Tem I'm tempted. I'm doing one more. Come on, gotcha, got you. Got no. <laughs> The gotcha gods, they have failed me. What I should have done is I should have bought the, the little stamper, the special, because that, that also benefits from rush attack. But it is what it is. Okay, and now, now we still have enough man bucks to reroll here. Okay, mobile ink recovery, and it is a double chip. It is a danger, but uh, you know, we can we can handle a little bit of danger. And I think at this point, we basically have infinite ink when we're dodge rolling. Now, if only we could get the extra dodge rolls. Um, the reason I was concerned about uh, maybe dodge roll causing me trouble is because if you dodge roll, it instantly like makes you fall, right? So like if I fall off the stage, but I'm still like panic dodge rolling, it could make me fall off the stage for real, for real. Especially if these guys like push me off in the middle of a dodge roll. Uh, hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully I won't learn anything about that mechanic, but it is a concern in the back of my mind. Okay, nothing good here and nothing good still is the wrong kind of blue technically a blue but not a blue Oh, all right rush attack. We'll take it though I am concerned with how little mem bucks we have now So even if you don't have the one you need like by floor 20, it's okay The odds are getting higher the higher up you go because you're picking up all these other blue chips That's that's the point of this whole see That's the whole point of this whole series. Oh, there's no okay. So this one doesn't have the little ink rail all right still nothing good a very low amount of mem bucks <laughs> part of me is tempted to go to the vending machine and we could buy like two blue chips if they show up i'll check okay vending machine be nice okay extra if only we had enough mem bucks to buy the last one but we'll just have to look for it in the wild 
If there's no blue, we cannot reroll. 11 man box is not enough to reroll. Thankfully, there is a blue, but it is the dumbest blue of them all. Rush knockback. I'm sorry, gamers. I really do not like knockback. I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up because it's blue. I will pick it up <laughs> unless I don't want to push the A button because it pushes enemies back, right? We don't have a lot of range. So if this pushes the enemies back, it just means they get to live longer. So instead of like killing a horde of enemies they all get exploded back and then they come back to haunt me later range we get range why is there like squares shooting out of my you guys see that right is that is that supposed to happen oh this is a good one to get the, the range chip on though because we need range to kill these things the other thing i don't like about the zone stages is you can't really like speed run them there's like a set amount of time you have to take like, there's nothing I could do to be speeding up the process here. It's just, like, blow up the guy so that it doesn't take longer. But there's nothing I can do to make it happen faster. I don't think we're playing fair or square here, but... I don't know how to make these dually explosions go bigger. <laughs> it's always on my mind. Alright, intensify and harmony. Let's see what inner agent 4 has for us. Now, something interesting I learned about this fight is that apparently these enemies can, in fact, use other specials. It's not going to be just the one special that we all see, which is the splashdown at the start. I mean, maybe I'll give them enough chance to build their special or, or maybe not. I think for the last set, I will I will wait it out and try to show you guys that they can, in fact, use their specials. What I can do is I can probably like jump up here. OK, so there's a splashdown one, right? We're just gonna end their existence because we don't care. And then from these other ones, I'm just gonna run. Just like let them let them do their thing. Even though they're being very aggressive at me right now, I don't appreciate that. Because I'm I'm being kind and letting them live. Let's see, is there any like signifier that their specials are charged? One of them's just gonna die by like poison ink. Hello. Alright, they can throw bombs. Oh, there you go, gamers. You see it? Missiles. Oh, rain. That's new. But yeah, they do. They do have different specials. If for some reason it's taking a really long time to splat them, they will charge their specials and they will use them against you. And they do have a variety of specials. It's not just splashdown. It's just a shame that like most of us will never see that. All right, and there you go, the final extra dodge roll. Uh, at this point, I can try to figure out how to make it go bigger if I need to, but uh, I'll keep picking up the blue ones, maybe. We'll see if it's good blue ones, we'll pick up the blue ones, and if not, we can go off color. Because the whole purpose of this was to get the extra dodge roll, and we got the extra dodge roll. I've also yet to figure out what the good strategy is for this eight ball stage. Um, I think the distraction is to like pull that one down there, what I just did, and then knock this in, that we have two in, and then we just deal with the parrot ultra head fish because what are, what are the parrot heads gonna do? Because they're not, but I wanna call them belugas. I'm sorry, I know, whatever. I don't care if they're not belugas. It, it sounds so weird to call them parrot heads. It sounds like an insult. It really sounds like I'm insulting them. Like, hey parrot head, what are you doing here? If that's an actual insult, I'm, I'm so sorry for just repeating that like 20 times in the course of this video. <laughs> I do not mean it, I'm not aware of it, but like, Maybe I should call Squidman a paired head just to see how he responds. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna keep going for blue anyways. Um, not this blue though. <laughs> we don't, we're not gonna be using Pro Drone. Uh, <laughs> is the game just gonna be like, nah man, you're done. You got, you got the blues you wanted. Alright, rush attack, there you go. We wanna make those dodge attacks so strong that they blow up the spawners before the spawners can grow out. Right now we do like 3000 damage. I don't think that is enough to blow up the spawners, but let's try. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's the dodge roll. Yeah, okay, so it, it, it the dodge like two shots the small one. Three shot, almost. It seems like we're missing just a little bit more damage. I think if we can pick up one or two more rush, we should be good. Uh, if we can even get it, that's the real problem here. See, this is... How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're about to pick up a ninth. There's a lot of blue chips in rotation. Okay, intense homing swarm. See, they pick all these weird names, but in reality, the stage name is Gateway. This is the Gateway stage with the tower mode. And instead, they gave them weird names, and I do not understand them. This little guy also does not understand them. Do we have infinite dodge roll? That's the other thing. I think we do. I think we do have infinite dodge roll at this point. Um, unfortunately, infinite dodge roll doesn't reach the tower, so uh, we're gonna have to stop infinitely dodge rolling and start shooting like a normie. Not with the blue doolies, come on, we're the dodge doolies, not the shoot doolies. Dooley, dooley dodgers, not the dooley shooters. I mean, we can just panic dodge roll though. That's the nice thing about it. Who needs panic splashdown when you have panic dodge roll? Oh no, enemies will come in my way, whoops! 
I panicked and they all blew up. <laughs> Runs are so silly and fun. Once you start picking up the the buffs, so oh, it's it's even going off color is pretty funny for some of these. I don't know if all the off color ones are gonna be good, but most of them seem to be pretty fun. Uh, I don't want either of these. This is the Crucifixion one. Do I? <laughs> I'm not going on that stage. Uh, do I go vending machine? Nah. I'm just gonna keep rerolling, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna hate the fact that I did not go vending machine, aren't I? Okay, no, I'm I'm good with this rushing attack. The divided floor. Mm, nice thing is we only have two eight balls to deliver, and uh, you just dodge roll down. <laughs> so ideally, I just want to take it that way. Ideally, I just want to push the ball in and then panic dodge roll. It doesn't make me as angry at the eight balls for taking a while to like fit into their little goal. Um, all right, I'll go to this vending machine. All right, let's see what we get here. Please be nice. You're not nice. Please be nice. Okay, rush knockback. I hate this game. I I just I, I hate I hate it. I despise this so much. Hopefully. This will be enough knockback to just knock them off the stage as opposed to just make them go far away enough to where I cannot hit them. Okay, we can have more run speed or more mobile ink recovery. Part of me just wants to max out the ink recovery. That way it'll be more funny because we just move and then our ink tank will be back to full. I think that's how that works. Don't quote me on that. We'll try it. We'll try it at the little training area at the start. As long as I don't move because if I move, the <laughs> ink tank gets full. All right, well, it takes a while to empty it out, first of all. Now that it's empty, it's like five steps and you get a full ink tank back. I like that. Well, you guys remember this stage? I, I really suffered on this stage with the hackless run. I don't know if I've posted the hackless run yet. Hopefully I have. Hopefully you're seeing this after the hackless run. Clearly I cannot speak, but if you have not seen the hackless run yet, you should you should go watch that. That was There was a lot of suffering on this map specifically. <laughs> so much suffering. And man, man is there so little suffering this time. Who needs panic splashdowns when you have panic dodge rolls? Explosive dodge rolls that will explode your enemies. As well as your panic. No more panic. Panic is gone. Panic has been cured. Okay. <laughs> it's not gonna give us anything. We barely have any membox. Um, okay, this is gonna be our last reset. Don't break it for us, game. No! <laughs> Video game! You're low on membox for that. <laughs> give me more. Uh, why is it gotta do that to us? All right, well, if we're gonna have to pick any of these, yeah, let's just let's just boost our ink size. Why not? We'll get a little bit of orange in there. It's very difficult to go full blue, full off color, and sometimes you have to make compromise, but that's okay. Uh, you know, I would oblige to the don't use my main weapon if the dodge roll did not require me to be using my main weapon. Unfortunately, the dodge roll does require me to be using my main weapon. So uh, rip, rip that bonus, I guess. Oh my god. This game just, it really wants me to love the knockback. Fine. I'll try it out. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see how much this knockback does. It wants me to have more knockback, but less power. So let's see what this does. Well, it kills them right away, so it doesn't, that doesn't help. <laughs> I can't see how good the knockback is, because it just, ex they, they explode before I get to knock them back. I hope you guys now see why I'm not a big fan of the knockback. Alright, this is our last floor. Maybe it'll give us a vending, that'd be nice. Oh, it'll give us rush attack. That is really nice. I'll gladly take that. I think this is gonna make us do probably, what, 5,000 damage? 5,280, let's go. Oh, and this is such a fun stage. Okay, so I have to make sure I don't like dodge roll my way off the map. I'm kind of curious if that's possible. I do want to know, but I don't want to know. <laughs> no more science today. Time to fight the final boss. And uh, now we're just gonna dodge roll our way. We can't reach him. We can't reach him. Okay, I'm just gonna tap shot when we can't reach. Let's see how many dodge rolls this guy can take. One, two, three. Wait, you don't... Are you telling me this guy has the same HP as the little spawner things he spawns in? There's no way, right? One, two... Get, get back here. Get, hey, three. Okay, this takes a little bit more. I think maybe he did take a little bit more. The fact that I can't expand the radius though. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, so he gets a little bit more HP. Oh, he's not dead yet, okay. Now he is. He gets more HP, so the first time he has as much HP as one spawner. And then he does get a bit stronger. And these, these spawners, I think they also get a little bit stronger because I have to hit that one a little bit more than three times. Uh, I don't think I get like a shield though, so I probably shouldn't. Does it give you iframes? I call it dodge roll, right? It's called a dodge roll. 
Like, does it give you invincibility frames if you're dodging? Does anyone know? You guys let me know in the comments. We, you know, there's one of me and thousands of you. Some Somebody there has to know. Wait, I'm, I'm curious if rush attack boosts this thing's damage. It does. It does boost this thing's damage. It just did like, I mean, 30,000. That's a, okay. Well, that was, a, that was a fun experience. If you guys too would like to feel like Sonic the Hedgehog, I suppose that's the closest thing I can imagine. Do a dooley's off color with the blue. It really does feel just like playing with the Grisco Dooleys. It's silly and it's funny. And that's all I need. All right, and that concludes this monochrome run with the Dooleys going with the blue chips. Uh, if you guys have any other recommendations for very fun and ridiculously overpowered modes with chip and weapon combinations, do let me know in the comments down below. I will gladly try more of these. This is a fun time. I've already been this. I've, I've gotten everything. I have all the pearls. I bought all the hacks. I bought everything from that guy. Uh, and I have nothing else to do, but I enjoy the mode. So this gives me a reason to play it more. Give me, give me ideas. I will gladly try them out. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And I'll squid you in the next one. Bye.